joint. Mm-hmm. Um, and he said we got to stop blaming the white man for everything. So let's hear from, let's hear from Nick Cannon. Strip yourself of those ideas of like blaming the white man for it. fair use, by the way, fair use. Everything we're gonna ascend even greater because there's this imaginary cloak of oppression that feel is over every situation that we have. And I would love for us to remove that. And it's like I said, we've been programmed to not walk in our regalness mm-hmm. in this country. But every when you y'all think that's true? I don't. Do y'all we've think been it's true? Do y'all think we've been programmed to not walk in our regalness? And there's an imaginary cloak of oppression that um, imaginary. surrounds everything that we do. Are we imagining this? Because mm-hmm. look, the thing is this, man. The thing is this, because we talk about white supremacy and we point out the problem that exists because white supremacy is a problem um, just for society overall. It's a problem for the planet. It's not just a problem for black people. White supremacy shouldn't exist. White supremacy period. is causing a decline in humanity, period. You know what I'm saying? So when we talk about white supremacy, it's not that we are um, just complaining and saying we can't do nothing because of white supremacy and we just sitting around complaining and waiting for the white man to stop oppressing us so that we could be somebody. That's not that's not what's going on. We still out here doing right. making it do what it do. We still out here with our back straight, making it do what it do. We still, still out here walking in our regalness, but we're not going to ignore this evil system that does exist. It's not in our imagination. Right. And Nick, out of all people, you should know this. It wasn't too long that... ago where you, Boom. where you got your um, chain yanked. You just got your chain yanked right. by this imaginary cloak, this imaginary thing mm-hmm. that we're just imagining that wouldn't allow you to say what you really felt on your, on your platform, wouldn't allow you to bring the guests that you wanted to bring on and talk about what you wanted to talk platform. about. They have, to, they have to yank your chain and put you in your place. Right. But we imagine that. We, yeah. I'm glad that you brought that up because um, on the um, actual post um, that 19 Key shared, it says, "Stop blaming the white man for everything, Nick Cannon." And this is on. Um, it's a um, a real. And so our brother King Cam, who will be on the Black Business. Show, I'm just waiting for his schedule. Anyway, he said, I could believe it coming from Nick Cannon, except I was around when he tried to stand on business with Professor Griff, and then white boys came and made him apologize about it. Sorry, Nick. Just saying. That's right. just basically what you said. Right. <laughs> you know? Like, they, were, like, they, was, they was about to take everything from you. They was about to right. snatch the whole rug from up under you. So we imagined that, that was our imagination. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a real thing. And again, when we talk about it, that's not us sitting around being downtrodden and not doing anything for ourselves. Right. That's not what we, many of, us are, many of us are out here, you know, progressing, being progressive. Many of us are, you know what I'm saying? Considering the circumstances and everything that we've been through, we should all be, um, messed up in the game out here but right. we're not we still out here shining we still out here walking in our regalness but that does not mean we're going to ignore this blatant problem that is real it's not part of our imagination that's a real thing and if it so wasn't a real problem it, can... if that if it was a real problem then why don't we if it was white supremacy wasn't a real problem then we would have more millionaires and billionaires within black society too but see they put a cap you know, on how many we technically can have. And they always name the same ones. And unfortunately, Diddy is getting off the list because you see um, white supremacy has come to claim and yet another one, you know, that a lot of black people right. have looked up to. You know what I'm saying? So how many more are they going to come claim? We should have way more millionaires and billionaires within black society considering everything that we have created. 